Uh, I didn't want to really get into any higher than that. So again, I like this color. This is again, I call it a root beer kind of color. So this here definitely cruising in style, my friends, big time. Absolutely. Alrighty, my friends. We're gonna do a 70 CUDA here. There's a drop top here. Now this here, I don't, uh, again, I'll be honest with you guys, same as the Camaros and that as the drop tops, I just don't like them. I, I'd rather the Camaro and the Cuda and that, I'd rather, and the Chevelle and that too. Uh, uh, I would just wish, you know, they just stay hard top, you know what I mean? But hey, yeah, I mean, it's, they're still cool, don't get me wrong, but. Yeah, this doesn't, again, these these muscle cars just doesn't look right. Again, that my own opinion, guys, you know, to, to each their own, but. I mean, don't get me wrong, this car would uh, definitely, definitely leave a, probably leave a set of candy canes out, out in front of your house, no, no doubt about it, but. Yeah, just it, something I just can't, yeah, was a drop top. Alrighty, my friends. We're going to do a 57 here. Now, this is like a rose pink. I do have many 57s. Actually, I better, that reminds me. I'm going to, here, I'm going to enter. I do have a, lots of 57s. I do have maybe between three, between three and five that are drop tops. Again, this one I like. This is kind of like you say, this is like a rose pink. This is this is outstanding as far as I'm concerned. Now I don't mind this as a drop top of 57. Yeah, this is this is old school. Um, again, I would not complain if this was parked in my driveway. I, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, I don't mind some. And this is one I I would love to go for a spin in. I do actually like that kind of rose pink color. It really, it just it just lights up. You can see, right? It just, it just gleams, eh? So, yep, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alrighty, my friends, I'm just gonna step out of the Hot Wheel uh, section here for a second, and I'm gonna do another 57 here. This is an Ertle, this one here. I thought I might as well do because I. The, um, I, all the cars are different except, I, yeah, 257s. This is not bad. This is an older car. This is definitely late 70s in around or, or early 80s, this one. This one's definitely, actually, you know what? The, oh, no, there's still one more coming up. That's the oldest. But this one here would be probably looking at them here. Now, that would... Hmm. Yeah, this will be the second oldest in this set list. There's still one older one coming up. Now look at that big Continental package. Uh, it's just outstanding. Absolutely, my friends. I, I, it's pretty cool. Alrighty, now we're going to jump back into the Hot Wheels here for a second. Now here's a 70 Chevelle. Again, just as I was saying a moment ago. Guys, I'm not big on the Chevelles and Camaros and Cudas and that as as drop tops, but I mean this is like a this is like an antifreeze green or but I've had this one for a little while now too. This was actually yeah, this was a blister pull. Same with that rose pink 57 was a blister pull. Same with the 63 T-Bird, that one was as well, so. Again, I like the I like this car just radiates like a jewel underneath the lights. Um, you know, uh, look at the fatties on there. This thing here definitely uh, leaves some marks on the road. Absolutely. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna I'm trying to keep her rolling. As I said, I got 15. Here's a 69 Camaro. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I kind of like the black. Well, obviously the black and the yellow kind of, I call it kind of the, the bumblebee look. Um, 
this is pretty sweet. Now this has some marks, as you can see on the front, I must have picked this up. I have no clue as to where I got this from. And I don't, maybe, because the rest of the cars, oh, there is marks. So you know what, this probably is a flea market find. Yeah, because there is, a, unfortunately, there's a little, yeah, there's a chip here. Other than that, and a little bit on the front, just seems like it's just on the edges. But again, I still have this car on display, my friends. It's not that bad a shape. This is the first one so far that has the plastic base. So, I mean, for it's not bad. I'll get, I put it on, it's in with the rest of my Camaros, obviously. And, uh, alrighty. You know, I'll put it on display. Now, here's a 65, a VET. Look at this thing here. This is like a turquoise. Or, this thing here just gleams. Almost need my sunglasses on here, you know what I mean? And uh, this, so I like the paint job on this. Now this this one here, guys, is, this is the last, I thought the hood opened. This is the last of the Hot Wheels, and then we're going to, we're going to dive into five Matchbox and one Husky. So, alrighty, I want to try to keep her under 20 minutes if I can, obviously. I want to keep her as quick as possible. Alrighty. Now this this really again this this goes like this radiates like a jewel. This is pretty cool. Okay guys, here we go. Now into the matchbox. Here we're gonna start out with a 69 Carmen Ghia. Now all my mat these matchbox I'm showing you, these I've had all these, these are all blister pulls. As well, that bit, that vet was that yellow Camaro wasn't obviously. Now they, uh, they, yeah, I just now this one I just got not too long ago. Um, I forget exactly, but it's I've had this probably. Yeah, when did it come out? Uh, it doesn't really say. I've had it now. Maybe if it'd be lucky if it's over a year. Let's put it that way. So. I do like these. This is the only Carmen Ghia I got here as far as match, or in the matchbox, I should say. So, I don't mind this. Now, this is a drop top. I don't mind. But on a kind of on a muscle car, I just, eh, I don't know. This here is, I can accept, you know. So, but anyway, uh, it's not going to cooperate here with me. But pretty nice car for for sure. Alrighty guys, we're going to do a, a, a 2019 Volkswagen. This again is a matchbox. Now this I just got about three, four months ago. This is not very, actually, yeah, this is not very old. And, uh, but, uh these punch buggies, again, as I said, I, as this, as, as a, as a convertible, yeah, this is all right. This doesn't bother me, you know what I mean, so. These, these are the cars that should be convertible, but again, <laughs> anyway, that's enough of me babbling, but I like the color on this. This is kind of like a robin's egg blue. The tires and everything on there are designed where they look like they have the treads and so forth. So on it does, as you can see here, it is a, it is a, a, a plastic base, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, so the 2019 on the base, but so, yeah, I got this last year, so, okay. Like I said, so I wasn't, wasn't lying, it's, uh, this is a recent one. Actually, the next one is as well. Here's a 2016 Camaro. I thought this was something else. I can't even tell them apart anymore, man, I tell you. Now this color here, my friends, this is like a, a pumpkin orange. This is pretty cool. Um, definitely, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, you don't really see any kind of Camaro in this kind of color, but this, again, this is different, I guess, kind of, kind of spice it up or kind of think outside the, the norm, I guess. I mean, I kind of... Again, I don't like the new Camaros. I don't think they should be using the name. But you know what? I do like this color. 
I do like this color. I, I won't lie. So it's interesting. It is uh, pretty neat to look at. Okay, guys. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Why ain't this here? Nah. Here's another. Here's jeez. I thought. Here's another 2016 uh, Camaro here, my friends. I apologize. I thought these were two different cars. These ones are sitting right up on the top shelf, up by my wind, up by my ceiling. So, uh, and the way I got them right now, I only have. I can only see the front ends. So, I apologize, but oh well. These are convertible, so. Now this blue here, again guys, is pretty sweet. Ah, it's not working, I'm gonna keep it rolling here guys. I'm not gonna screw around with it. I got the turntable, but eh, too long on the turntable, so. But again, this is a pretty neat blue. I do like this. And uh, yeah. So, and again, this one has uh, come out the same time as the pumpkin orange one there. These are both 2019, so these are actually two different ver color variations, obviously. So, I imagine Matchbox will probably come out again with this in a different color as well, still, so. Alrighty, guys. We're going to do... We're going to do an 83 Buick Riviera. The door is open, obviously. This is a Matchbox. And uh, now this come out last year or 2018. I've had this for a year, maybe two. But again, this is pretty sweet. I like this. And uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty pretty cool. Now these doors obviously they open. Look at that. Now this is a, a different, I told, when this first came out, guys, a, a year or two ago, it kind of blew me out of the water. It's like, wow, Matchbox decided to do something totally different here. And, and you know, and I like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm certainly not complaining. You know, and there's a bunch of cars now that Matchbox is doing where, you know, I, to be perfectly honest, I don't think Hot Wheels will ever think of doing or or anyone else for that matter but again that, in my opinion but look at this thing I would definitely love to, I, I've drove I've rode in these before I rode in an 83 I've rode in an 81 so I these cars were those cars were excuse me they were always always nice riding alrighty guys we're gonna close out here this convertible challenge here with the oldest one here in the set list here. This is and like a 63 T-Bird. Now this here, this is a Husky. I will do the base plate on this one here. Now as I was saying earlier, this is the oldest one. Main Great Britain. Look at that baby. You can tell those, look at that four. Well, people call them rivets. I just call them poles. But look at that. It's got four in there. Little gray wheels. Look at this little fella here, my friends. I've had this. I've had this for at least oh, probably 35 years, 40 years. This car, this car is in from the 60s. Husky eventually, uh, in around 1969, 1970, they still carried on with the Husky label, but they also merged with Corgi. And so then, you know, they were Husky, Corgi, and this here, this is in the 60s. This is mid-60s or so. This is when they were just strictly Husky. And uh, the reason, when I was a kid, my one uncle, I got some of his hand-me-down die-cast cars when I was like four or five years old. And this was one of them, well, not this particular car, but one similar to this. And that, and, and he's quite a bit older than me, so I know this car is at least in the mid mid 60s. Might be, yeah, you know. And uh, like I say, this is before they went in and merged with uh, absorbing kind of Corgi and merging with them. And uh, yeah, so this is not a 164. This is a little smaller, maybe. 
and maybe a 172 but husky this is this here is again I like this this has never been restored my friends this car is actually older than me and I'm going to be 51 this car is older than me this die cast car here so this is probably another five years older than me maybe even six so this is outstanding I love it and, and you know the amazing thing about this look at that window in that it's got a few marks but you know what I'm good with that guys I'm going to close out with this granddaddy here uh, I hope you enjoyed checking out these convertibles and uh, I appreciate you taking the time to check them out so like comment or subscribe and uh, you know, we'll see you soon, guys, and as always, keep collecting, my friends.